I V M. I have to talk about the background score, guys. So I want the same kind of audacity that Rajesh Roshan has in this film, because Rajesh Roshan has has used the background score of three of the most iconic films from that time, and he's literally copy pasted them. One is the Terminator. Okay, does not change the theme. The Terminator theme is through, uh, uh, like in the movie, like eighty percent of the movie. There was a very famous film in the nineties called The Last of the Mohicans. In the emotional scenes. he has copy pasted that and then whenever thakur durjan singh came in the early scenes he has taken the theme from jaws the shark movie and put it as the theme for thakur durjan singh okay so i was like you dude rajesh roshan had no fucks to give and then i realized this is the guy who actually composed the who copied the barbie song uh, the uh, uh, i'm a barbie girl he made mane jo suna kaise aao bal se la I was like, "Wow, this guy gives zero fucks." Um, I also want to talk about uh, in the song after the song. Uh, uh, so, Jatiya no, no, Majhali I have to talk about uh, ah. Rajesh Roshan only. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Gana, so Rajesh Roshan ne itni jagah se copy karke yahan pe dala hai. ठीक है. And ah. my problem is that कि कैसा है ना कि it's we always why do we look down upon all these music directors who copied things from Hollywood? It was hmm. their way of ensuring that अगर हम कहीं परदेस में जाए <laughs> तो उधर अगर कोई ऐसा कोई गाना लगाए वी शुड नॉट फील एलियनेटेड क्योंकि वहां पे वो चला रहे हैं इट्स द फाइनल काउंट ऑन वी लाइक तिर ने मी बिकॉज़ इन माय होम बिकॉज़ इन माय आई टू थिंक दैट मे बी दिस सॉन्ग इज अ ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ दैट सॉन्ग ये ये तो टाइटल हिंदी सबटाइटल है मैं सोचती नहीं थी अलग गाने नो इट्स जस्ट सो दैट वी डोंट फील एलिएनेटेड और इतने लोगों ने इतना किया है हम लोगों के लिए हम लोगों के लिए सो दैट यू नो इट्स अ सटल लेयर एंड स्टिल व्हाई डू वी लुक डाउन कॉपी प्लेजरिज्म बुला देते ऐसा थोड़ी ना है ओ उर्जिता इज गोइंग फुल लाइक फॉर अ सेकंड इट फेल्ट लाइक वी आर अटैकिंग वन ऑफ उर्जिताज रिलेटिव्स yeah she's gotten <laughs> so defensive i think there's one further layer to add to what you just said i think whenever yeah. someone from india copies mm. very blatantly i think what they think in their head is this is good our indian people don't know about it so if yeah. we become the zarya to bring it to them they will be exposed to something that is already great so nobody Not, very rarely do people like change whatever they are trying to get inspired from for the indian subtext they just think that if we do that in in indian setting it will be done there will be no yeah, much thing yeah. <laughs> i yeah. i don't agree with urjita's point about uh, <laughs> us going abroad and feeling left out i think we always <laughs> overpower and being on like your music is trash have you heard what we have to offer <laughs> so that's generally our vibe but um, it's it's uh, interesting that you picked out the three uh, uh, collaborations that rajesh roshan did in his head yeah. with the different movies yeah. as as uh, yeah. it's it's such a subtext collaboration that people don't even know that this exactly like happened uh, like so, so in the terminator they are using that theme whenever like arnold schwarzenegger comes uh, like on the scene or he's about to shoot someone or something dude rajesh roshan is using it while salman is like pacing in the jail for him is like terminator music hoga tere liye mere liye this is just like background score uh, <laughs> i thought that was interesting a uh, couple of things that i don't think i've aged well so urjita we spoke about in the hamtum episode how uh, saif forcibly kisses uh, uh, rani uh, this film came out in 2004 uh 9 years before that in 1995 charuk does the same thing to kajol uh while uh, while while teaching her how to shoot the catty and then her yeah. bodyguard comes um this film also has the whole thing of uh, another thing we have uh, talked about in the mehuna episode where the tomboy has to become a girl in order to impress the guy where mamta kulkarni has this scene which is very uh, problematic where she basically takes her shirt off looks at herself in the jail i remember that <laughs> urjita yeah, is yeah. is recreating recreating that scene with clothes <laughs> yeah she has to look twice uh, uh, in the frame i re- i don't remember much of what the reaction was for this but in the theater the when when that scene came 
everybody was maroing cities and uh, hooting at the screen so that happened um cuz they had the whole her back her bare back yeah. for no yeah. reason there was no reason <laughs> the reason was to get men into the theaters and he did that um she uh, mamta kulkarni uses is like no <laughs> <laughs> but but would you that you would agree that there was a good time in indian cinema that still continues to this day where item songs are there just cuz they are there there is no purpose to them but they are there this song also has is, one the yeah so chat pe soya tha behnoi that song is an item song It's 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 the desi item song that you yeah. listen to next to Bond Fire. It's incest porn, but in poetry. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> right. Also, uh, uh, Amrish Puri's reaction in that song, the chhat pe soya ta behnoi. Again, he's he's putting in all his all his what do you call it? like all his. ऐसा हैवानियत पूरी ऐसे उसकी शकल पे अमरीश ऐसे ऐसे अमरीश पूरी ने सिटिंग लग रहा है या एक्जेक्टली पुटिंग अमरीश पूरा इन द सॉन्ग ही ही इज दिस क्लोज टू जस्ट गोइंग लाइक दिस सो दुर्जन सिंह हैज टू साइड किक्स इन दिस मूवी वन इज कॉल्ड नाहर सिंह एंड द अदर इज कॉल्ड शमशेर सिंह ओके सो द गाय हु प्लेस नाहर सिंह हिज हिज नेम इज फिरोज खान इन इन रियल लाइफ but he also played arjun in mahabharat okay the tv show and he got so famous doing that and because there was already an actor called firoz khan this actor firoz khan actually officially changed his name to arjun for the film industry so the the guy playing the villain his real name was arjun because he played arjun in mahabharat <laughs> i thought there was just something weird going on there in a movie called karan arjun Yeah, where shahrukh sons is... no amrish puri sons they are supposed to be sons right not yeah. sidekicks are they sons because i i think their yeah, son is because... asif sheik who is supposed no, no you, you, don't they call him mama for the movie i think he's he's the, he they are his mama. cousins from what i understand because uh, his son is asif sheik who is about to marry kajol about to marry kajol the the relationship the family tree in this movie is very <laughs> weird i also tried to understand it but then i but gave up joke. after a, a, a Uh, yeah for a couple after a couple of uh, uh, after a couple of t- tries